I previously tested a London Open breakout strategy, which showed pretty good results, especially on the pound yen cross. On that video, I got a comment suggesting some alternative rules to try, and that is what I'm going to test in this video. Let's go over the strategy rules first of all, but a quick disclaimer, this isn't financial advice and I'm not a financial advisor. Because this is a London Open strategy, I need to make sure that my charts are showing the correct times. So head over down here in the bottom right and make sure that London is selected as the correct time zone. I then need to mark out my initial opening range. This is going to be the end of the Asia session where it overlaps with the beginning of the London session. The candles I'm looking for are between starting at 4 a.m. and finishing at 8 a.m., including the close. So that's five candles, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So then I look for the lowest candle in that range, which in this example is the 6 a.m. candle. And I do the same for the high of that range, which is actually the 8 a.m. itself. This gives me my opening range. So now I'm looking for breakouts, either long or short, outside of this range. I then place stop orders at either side of this range. So to go long, I place an order at the top of the range. The stop loss goes on the other side. And then I aim for a 3 to 1 reward to risk ratio. This particular trade looks like it went on for a few hours and maybe even held overnight, but eventually it went on to hit its target take profit. That's the base strategy. I'm going to test it as it is, and then I'll show you some changes that make it even more profitable. Here is my back testing code. I'm testing this on the pound yen cross because that gave me good results previously. The test is on 15 minute time frame, but it doesn't actually matter because these are going to be stop orders. Starting balance of 100, risking 2% per trade testing long trades and set to Europe slash London as the time zone. And if I skip ahead to the backtest results, this is the equity curve that I get. So it's a pretty decent result overall. And if I dig into the metrics, we've got an annual return of 41% with a max drawdown of 27.5, 357 trades simulated, achieves almost a three to one risk to reward. There's going to be occasional slippage that affects this and a win rate of 32%, which you would expect with a bigger take profit ratio. These results are good, but I can improve them further. This is a breakout strategy, which means that I want to take advantage of volatility in the first couple of hours after the market opens. I'm going to add a rule that trades must be taken by 12 o'clock, and if the stop orders aren't hit by then, they are cancelled. This gives me an immediate improvement to the overall results. The equity curve is much smoother, and it ends up with a higher balance in the end. The other thing that I want to test out is the take profit range. So far, I've only tested this on three to one ratio, but I'm going to retest it with a range of different take profits. In this section of code, I'm going to test take profit ranges between one and a half times up to four and a half times. And this is the result. So the orange line here is three to one. That's what I started with initially. The lines below it are the ones that have an even lower take profit, like one and a half, two and two and a half. But as the take profit range increases, the profitability of the strategy goes up with it. And in fact, the best result is to use four to one rather than three to one, which is this blue line here. Notably, a ratio of four and a half, which is even higher, this red line, produces a smaller profit. And part of the reason for that is that the trades then get stuck for a long time. So there's a period here where the red line is just horizontal for quite a while. And it's because the take profit is too big. So the trade doesn't hit a stop loss or take profit for a really long time, which is why I think the sweet spot for this is to stick with a four to one ratio. This is what it looks like retested with four to one. So now the final balance is somewhere around 2000. And if I have a look at the metrics, it's coming in just under 2000 with an annual return of 80% and a drawdown of only 15%, 276 trades simulated and a win rate of about 31.5% which again is reasonable for such a high take profit ratio. But what I also like about this strategy is that it's quite consistent. It's not just one year that did really well. It's actually quite consistent and it has produced pretty good and steady returns for every year in the past five years that I tested. Even the worst year, 2022, still came in just under 40%. I then retested this on short entries and that tells a very different story. No matter which combination I tried, I couldn't get this to produce any profitable returns with short trades. So this should be a long only strategy. Thank you for this suggestion. It has produced a really nice looking strategy. And if you guys have any other strategy ideas, then let me know and I'll try and test them out. If you made it this far and you found the video useful, then please take a second to hit the like button.